Hey guys, Tech Dimension with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix your health up if the app is not working, you're not getting data, or simply just being buggy for you. There's a couple of troubleshooting steps you can do to fix it yourself, and we're going to walk you through all of that. So let's get started. So whenever you're having issues with the health app, maybe you're not getting the data, it's not loading up, or simply doesn't keep track of your fitness that you're trying to track, a couple things you want to do. First thing is go ahead and close out the app and reopen it, and it's something simple as that. So you're going to swipe up like I did here. So you're going to swipe up and then slide your finger all the way up, and app is closed. And then all you'll do is relaunch the app. Hopefully by reloading it, it will resolve any minor issue that you may be having. Now let's say you're still having issues. The next thing you can do is a force restart on your iPhone. So in order to do a force restart, you're going to do volume up and then release the phone, volume down and then release the phone one after another. And then you hold this side button until the screen goes completely black. And the Apple logo reappears and then you'll let go of that button. So in real time, volume up, volume down, and then I hold the side button just like that. And I'm going to keep on holding it here until the screen goes black so the phone is forced to shut down completely and then it will also reboot at the same time. So as you can see here, I'm still holding it and I see the Apple logo, I let go of that button. And essentially what I have done is shut the phone down completely and helping it reload the code. So if there is a software issue impacting apps from not working correctly, it will resolve that issue. Now this method will not delete any of your personal data like photos, videos, apps, or anything like that. Once you're back in, it's gonna ask for your phone's passcode. So go ahead and put your passcode in. And the next troubleshooting step you wanna do if your health app still isn't working is go over to your settings. And this time in the settings here, we're gonna to wanna to go to privacy and security. And under privacy and security, we're gonna look for this setting called motion and fitness. And under motion and fitness, now we wanna ensure that the health option is turned on if it's not already. Sometimes it gets turned off. Along with that also you want, if you're looking for to track your uh, fitness, you also wanna ensure that fitness tracking is on. So both of these settings should be on for you. Now moving on to the next uh, step in troubleshooting is, this is gonna be if you're using an Apple Watch to keep track of your fitness and motion, you wanna to, want to open up the Apple Watch app itself here. And once you open it up, what you'll notice here, there's a couple options here, but we're gonna look for the privacy here as well. Under privacy here, you'll see a couple things going on, but we want to reset the fitness calibration data, and this is important if you're not getting data again on the health app. So we'll click on that, and as you can see here, it will permanently delete any of your calibration history. So that is required if you're just not getting the data. So we'll do that, and simple as that, we have done that now to recalibrate the fitness uh, data. Now, the next thing you want to do if you're still having issues with the health app is you're going to go ahead and update the app if there is an update available. And to update the app, it's really simple. You open up App Store and then you go ahead and search for the app you want to update. So in our case, we'll search up the health app. So you search up the health app. The one that we're interested in is Apple Health. As you can see here, if it says open like that, that means your app is already up to date. There's nothing you can do right now. If you see it in a case where it is something like this when you open it up it has that update button go ahead and click on it to update it that means there's an update available for you now after you have done that and you're still having the issue the next thing you can do to resolve this issue is actually deleting the app and reinstalling it so in order to delete the app you're going to press and hold and then you click on remove app and then delete app and then it's going to say deleting the app well first you have to unpair it so make sure you unpair it first so you'll need to unpair it uh, by the watch here. So you want to unpair it here and then delete it and then to reinstall it I, I won't do that because I already have my iPhone connected here. You're going to do the same thing. You're going to come over here and search for the app here and then install it of course the same exact way. Now lastly if you're still having issues the very last thing you want to do in troubleshooting is updating the phone's iOS. So in order to do that you're going to go into settings here and then you're going to go general software update and check if there's an update available. Make sure you're connected to the internet or by cellular data or Wi-Fi. There's an update available. It'll show up here. It says download and install. You'll click on download and install to update your phone to the latest version. It's important when it comes to any software related issue that your phone is up to date to fix any issues that it may be having. And after you have done that, that's about it. And it 
by now your health app is should or be working if not uh, there might be something else going on but i hope this video was helpful if so please make sure that like and subscribe button thanks for watching guys see you guys next time